where did the title uh, for this exhibition come from? Well, we actually opened it up to the students and solicited ideas from the students, and um, we combined ideas from a couple of the students to I come see. up with the with the title for the show. Okay, good. And uh, how did you select the work that was going to be shown? What we did is we opened it up to all seniors and we said that if you wanted to be considered you had to agree to certain conditions as far as, you know, framing the work, uh, being involved with the installation, so we set that up in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then we told the kids that we needed uh, digital images so we could give those to the jurors and we went from there. We said you could submit six pieces for each category. I see. And we had some kids that submitted in every category, and you know, mostly they submitted in just one. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Did anything surprise you with what uh, you received? It was very surprising. It was very surprising. Uh, of course, we'd seen most of the work during the course of the year, but the, I think the most surprising thing was how motivated the kids were once we started this process because we've never done this, a juried show before, so we didn't know what to expect, but they took it very seriously. Yeah. That's interesting because now it's not just creating art, but now we're displaying art. Exactly. And that's uh, almost like a musician rehearsing, but then he gets to do the, or she, to the, do the show. Right, right. Mm -hmm. it's, a, you know, it's the completion of the, the process of the kind of dialogue with you know, the viewers. And also, they, you know, they, they've had to deal with you know, the little nuts and bolts, matting and framing and signing an artist agreement and trying to come up with prices for their work and all of that which they had no experience with. So, so that's something that a gallery can offer a school uh, as, a, as something that we've learned by this show, that it's more than just putting pieces of art on the wall. It's learning about the whole process of displaying art. It, it's been a fantastic learning experience for them because they, they wouldn't have this, you know, these learning uh, opportunities except for through a gallery like this. I mean, you could talk about it in class, but right. it's, it's not real until mm -hmm. they really do it. So, How many of your students are going to, uh, do you think, are going to go on uh, to major in uh, art at, uh, at the next level here? Um, a percentage wise, it's really not a high percentage. It's mm -hmm. probably, I would say, about five, six percent of our students who take art classes plan mm -hmm. to go on and study art. Okay, so this is a, sort of a last uh, experience on the high school level to uh, demonstrate their art. It really is. They look at it as, you know, this is sort of my, my going out, you know, mm -hmm. from Herndon High School and, you know, it's a statement, you know, about what I can do, what I've done, sort of thing. You know. I know I'm, I'm going to be preaching to the choir, but there's a lot to be learned about art that isn't about becoming a ma you know, for that it's even if it's not your major. Uh, but I think of all the things I've done in my life with marketing and business. Right. Boy, if I had a little more art background, I might have selected some things differently. Well, well that's, that's really true and when we see so many of our kids who excel in art also excel in a lot of other areas and they're not necessarily going into art programs, they're going into engineering programs, they're planning to go into medicine, they're, you know, they're, they're really running the full gamut of you know, potential careers but mm -hmm. the thing that they have in common is that they love art and yes. I think uh -huh. they They've learned to think in certain ways because they've been able to practice that in art classes. Very good. Well, thank you so much for putting together this exhibition. Well, thank you for inviting us.